Hello, how we doing boys and girls, Derp Fiddler here, and welcome to episode 7 of the Derpcast. We've done 7 of these already, that's crazy, isn't it? Uh, I hope you guys are doing well today, I hope you're staying safe and, and feeling good, I hope you're feeling good. Uh, if I look a little different, it's because I have new lighting figured out uh, for this room. Uh, I talked about it last week, I think, where Mama Derp told me about her her makeup light bulb things that she uses on her uh, makeup mirror. Uh, I bought my own set of them. They're all, they're just, have, they're just like, there's adhesive on the back of them. I just stuck them to my wall. Mama Derp's like, you, you rubbed alcohol down or whatever first, right? I'm like, no, what, what? It, they're, they're still sticking. They're still sticking. So I think we're, I think we're okay. The color on my face, on my skin's a little different, but that's okay, right? I mean, you can see how pale I actually am now. <laughs> Before I was like making myself artificially tan, but I don't care. It looks fine. Um, <clears throat> not to start the the podcast on a on a on a sad note, but I, this was the first this was the first topic I made sure to write down uh, starting last week. Um, there's a there's a pretty I I haven't I hadn't heard of him before I heard this news, but there's a Twitch streamer who goes by the name Wreckful. Uh, and apparently he uh, committed suicide last week. Um, and I want to make sure I know the reason. I don't want to spread any misinformation, but all I know is that he was dealing with some pretty heavy mental health issues. Let me look here. <clears throat> yeah, he committed suicide hours after proposing to his girlfriend on Twitter, and I guess she said no, and that set him over the edge. Um, it's unfortunate. He was only 31 years old. I guess he was a really big Twitch streamer, like in the in the World of Warcraft uh world, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, that's unfortunate. He was only 31, and uh, yeah, it made me, it made me sad to see when I when I read that news. It's it's unfortunate, man. I didn't even know who he was, but it still still sucks, man. Uh, mental health is very important. I've talked about that uh in the past. Like when I was doing the, when I was part of the Notes for NAMI, NAMI charity event, uh, there's a reason I, I was so excited to be a part of that. And it's because mental health is very, uh, very important to keep in check. It's very important to, to check up on each other, make sure we're all doing okay. Cause it's easy to just, uh, it's easy to just get into your own little world and, and assume nobody cares. Um, but people do care okay remember that remember that um it just sucks man it sucks it sucks when someone that young is is taken from taken from the world uh and a lot of people were like bullying him too on on twitter and stuff like one of his last tweets was about like you know he felt like a, a burden on the world and stuff like that like i feel bad for anyone who has to put up with me and and some people who responded on twitter were like you know, pull the trigger like stupid jokes. It's not a joke. Don't ever say that to somebody. <laughs> don't don't ever do that. Don't ever do that, man. Um. But yeah, it's unfortunate. I feel like I, f I don't want to get too into it. But rest in peace. Rest in peace to him, man. Um. All right. All right. Um. Clip compilation. Let's talk about funny stuff. The clip compilation for uh for June went up last Friday. Last Friday. 23 minutes long, 90% fart sounds, 90% <laughs> fart sounds. Uh, it turned out, it turned out pretty good. It was fun to make. Um, it was pretty fun to make. Uh, <laughs> I was like really excited for this month's compilation too, just because I knew that most of it was going to be stupid fart noises stupid sound effects in general are you sure about that you know just just random things uh it seems like my mic's kind of loud it keeps touching in the red when i talk loud let me turn it down a little bit a little bit how about that oh that looks okay that'll be okay um sorry if i was blasting your ear holes there i didn't mean to uh so yeah june's clip compilation is up it's all fart sounds and well-timed sound effects too. Props to Wings and Orchid and Woogie for, and Rob for, um, 
<laughs> making that happen. Uh, it was fun. June was a fun month. June was a very successful month for the stream as well. Uh, it's it's we did really good. We did really good. I'm really I'm really happy with the direction that the stream is going. I feel like it's finding its footing a lot lately, and it just feels good. It's 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 in a good place. It's in a good place. Uh, and already for July, we have a few silly, silly moments. Uh, like one that comes to mind right now is uh, I've been playing Battle for Bikini Bottom the last couple days. And uh, there's one clip I put on Twitter of SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs were talking. And Mr. Krabs, by the way, Mr. Krabs' voice actor, yuck. <laughs> Mr. Krabs and Mermaid Man are clearly not the correct voice actors. Like it's, they got really cheap, really cheap imitations. But anyway. There's a part where Mr. Krabs is talking to SpongeBob and he's like, no more Krusty Krab. Or what's he talking about? He says he's not going to have money, which means no more Krusty Krab. And then he says to SpongeBob, that means no more fry cooking for you. And then right after that, Wings sets off a, a boo command. Boo. <laughs> that means no more fry cooking for you, me boy. Boo. So that was good timing. Uh, there's been a couple other. There's, we're only We're only a week into July and there's already a lot of comedy gold uh, for this month. So pretty happy about it um i guess that's it watch the clip compilation watch the clip compilation for uh june if you have 23 minutes to spare and you want it and you want to watch it too that would be important uh <laughs> this month's this month's custom song central pack this month's csc pack the the theme was bizarro and uh, as you can imagine every song in the pack all 25 of them were very bizarro some more than others uh i'm looking at you what was that one song called started with s oh my god i feel like an idiot oh my god what was that song called hold on a minute hold on a minute i know exactly where to find it <clears throat> i know exactly where to find it it's called shapeshifter wasn't it yeah shapeshifting shapeshifting was the name of the song oh my god the song before it in the pack was had was like pretty trippy to listen to and had a cool video background. So I think that's going to be the YouTube highlight. Uh, but I don't know if I want to share shape shifting on YouTube because that was that was a lot to handle. Like if you guys download the the CSC pack for July, uh, just prepare yourself when you get to shape shifter or shape shifting, whatever it's called. It's uh, it's 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 a trip. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good or a bad trip, but it's a trip. Uh, anyway, anyway, it was a fun pack overall, though. It was very interesting music choices that I wouldn't normally, normally check out otherwise. Uh, I talked about Battle for Bikini Bottom a little bit. Shout out to Rince one once again for buying that for me. Um, it's been, it's been okay. I think I'm done with it now because, or at least I'm taking a break from it because last night's stream, like, freaking frustrated me so much with the stupid, I'm stuck on the, I'm stuck in the Mermalair. Right, I'm in the Mermalair. I have to push this button that sends this ball rolling down a track, and I have to be following it and doing all the right things to to keep the ball rolling. I have to straighten out this path. I have to bring this down so it scoops up the ball. It's a whole thing, and I, for the life of me, I can't. Because once you get it to the end of where you have to get it to go, it's on this spinning back and or not spinning, but on this tilting back and forth. Uh, platform i guess and you have to control it like push it left or right into the hole and it never goes in the hole it's so loosey-goosey <laughs> and it just falls to the ground and then you and then you die and you have to do everything all over again i i quit i quit early last night i was so upset <laughs> i was so upset i'm like this game is stupid how is a game from 2003 meant for children this hard you know but anyway uh I've been having fun with it outside of that, you know. Uh but uh yeah, I might come back to it at some point, I don't know. Uh the other game that Rince bought me was Yakuza 0, which I guess is like a like a beat 'em up game and also a rhythm game at times, he said. So that I think we're going to try that out uh soon, maybe this weekend. Maybe this weekend. I think the rest of the week I want to uh I want to make sure to fill my quota for music games, so to speak. So do my three request streams for Clone Hero Guitar, Clone Hero Drums, and Rocksmith. And then uh, Thursday will be Rock Band 4. 
content, which by the way, now we'll talk about Rock Band DLC later. It's on my list. Uh, so yeah, Battle for Bikini Bottom, it's all right, but man, oh man, does Derpy Boy get frustrated with it? <laughs> Yesterday was kind of a rough day for me too, so that's probably why I was feeling short with it. But uh, oh, I guess New Rock Band DLC is the next. Um, I guess Rock Band DLC is the next topic anyway, because I talked about Battle for Bikini Bottom and Yakuza Zero. We're just speeding right along here, boys and girls. This will probably be a shorter derpcast, unless I take forever to answer your Discord questions. Uh, so this week's new Rock Band DLC is AJR with Bang and Amberian Dawn with Incubus. Bang was a decent tune. AJR's sound is literally 21 Pilots, uh, <laughs> but their songs are okay. I listened to Bang a few times in the in the Rock Band preview video that they put out. And it was decent. And Incubus looks tough on guitar. I don't know if I'll have to see that quickly, but we're gonna we're gonna see how it treats us. We're gonna see how it goes come Thursday. Uh and it's Tuesday right now. I don't know. By the way, today is Tuesday, July seventh, two thousand twenty. I for, almost forgot to say that. Um I said it eleven minutes in. You guys stuck around for that, right? Is he ever gonna say what day it is? Uh <laughs> um so yeah. Thursday the 9th we'll play that DLC I don't know what the rivals challenge is yet because like I said today's Tuesday and they usually don't reveal that till Wednesday night so it's a mystery right now it's a mystery I say uh but we'll see we'll see how the DLC treats us bang seems like a banger <laughs> get it music jokes and uh <clears throat> and incubus looks really tough so we're gonna see how that treats us come Thursday uh, upcoming videos, there aren't a lot right now. I think it's going to end up being Friday will be my next... Will be my next day off to make new content for you lovely people. Um, yeah, so today's Tuesday, which means the Rock Band DLC announcement will go up. Tomorrow's Wednesday, which means this podcast will go up. And then the day after that will be DJ Cummerbund's Blurry in the USA. That'll finally be uploaded. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see that if you haven't checked it out yet. It's an insanely good mashup and very, very topical, very topical for the times. And then Remedy by Seether will be up after that on the 10th. And the 10th is Friday, right? Because I'll be out of stuff by then. Yeah. So Friday the 10th, Remedy by Seether will be the YouTube video for the day uh, in Rocksmith. I played through it in Rocksmith a while back. Uh, it was during a Rocksmith stream where I just played whatever and chilled with the chat. Those are nice streams to do. Like, I always feel pressure to be like, oh, I should do requests so the chat feels involved. The chat can feel just as involved if I'm playing whatever I want and we have conversations still, you know? Um, plus, sometimes the chat will, like, like, egg me on. Not egg me on, but, like, we'll just get to talking about a band. It's like, hey, let's play some of their stuff for a bit, you know? Like, it's it's a more chill vibe. Than having to like pay attention to request it. Play your song. Okay, you're next. Are you here? You know stuff like that. So it's nice to it's nice to spruce things up in that respect. But anyway, remedy by Seether. That'll be the video on the tenth, and then that'll be my day to make videos. Um, I was gonna have. I'm probably still gonna do this on Derp Fiddler's other channel, which is my channel for non rhythm game stuff for the time being. Uh, I'm probably gonna cut down and upload the battle for bikini bottom stuff that i have done so far um uh i don't i might finish the game i might if i do go back to it i'm not going back to the mermaid lair for a bit because that was upsetting me <laughs> that's stupid maybe if i come back to it with like a fresh with like a fresh mind and not so stressed about it i can try again uh maybe i will i don't know Maybe I will. It'll depend. Uh, la 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 la. Where was I? That's this week's upcoming videos. Uh, what do I have? I know on the other channel I have like either tennis or Call of Duty stuff. One of my Call of Duty videos got a lot more video or videos got a lot more uh, views than usual because it's Warzone Rumble and they got rid of it. So I think people are looking for videos of it possibly. Um. So yeah, I have a. Uh, couple of Wii Sports Tennis videos. Or what's scheduled? There's a Headquarters and a Warzone Rumble video coming up yet on those two channels, if you guys care about that one. If you care about watching me 
like Call of Duty and talk to Rincewind about and music nerd about the odd thing here and there. Uh, I still have a copyright strike. When's that expire? August 20th, next month. Guys, don't upload Brian Adams. You'll get a copyright strike. I know Summer of 69 is a jam, but... Don't test him, man. Don't test him, buddy. Uh, So yeah, that's that. That's the upcoming stuff we got going on. Uh, So I guess it's time for Discord questions. I guess it's time for Discord questions at this point in time. Uh, it was a weird thing I just did. Pulling myself closer to the... Oh, Charlie Daniels died yesterday, man. Rest in peace. What a legend. He wrote Devil Went Down to Georgia, man. That's too bad. 83, though. That's... That's a life. Um, Where were we? What was the last question we answered? I think it was the Minecraft slash... Yeah, because Serene, I haven't answered that one yet. Alright, Yakuza 0 is almost done downloading, by the way. 14 minutes left, let's go. Before I even consider streaming that, I have to like... First I'm going to play it for like a half hour just to get a feel for it and see if I enjoy it. And then I'll uh, and then I'll have to make a specific OBS scene for it because every game's different with like where different stuff is on the HUD and whatnot, and I have to like figure out where I'm gonna be on the screen and where like the the stream stats that I like to have on the screen, like how many people are watching, how many subs we have this month, you know, all those little all those little uh, text things that I have. I have to figure out where they're gonna go. Uh, so I might play Yakuza Zero this weekend. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. Uh. But anyway, 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 anyway. Um, Serene, Serene MCFC is first up, aka Six Sunsets. He says, "Unfortunately, I decided to take a huge break on Twitter since the since it's a verity." Uh, can I start over? Unfortunately, I decided to take a huge break on Twitter since it's a verity. <laughs> Why is this a tongue twister? Unfortunately. I decided to take a huge break on Twitter since it's a very manipulative app. There I go. Along with every social media app. What are your personal thoughts about social media? All right. That was tough to say. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to keep saying Verity. I don't know why. My brain hates me. Um, my personal thoughts about social media. It's interesting how much it's taken over our lives since it became a thing. Uh, I remember, I remember back in like 2005, six, seven, eight, when MySpace was huge. Like when I was in middle school, it was, everyone was on MySpace, right? That was the big thing. And everyone had their own personalized page and everyone had their music playlist blaring right when you opened it up. Everyone thought that you, that you just had to know that they're super into finger 11 right now or whatever it was, whatever you were into at the time. I just thought Finger 11, because I remember mine, when you opened my page, it would play Paralyzer. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> I don't think my MySpace page is probably even up anymore. I don't even remember my password for it. That'd be a time capsule and a half. Uh, and then it became Facebook and Twitter, and then all these other things happened. Instagram, Snapchat, freaking Twitch is a social media platform in and of itself. Uh, YouTube. It it it's it's a big part of life these days. It's a big part of life. Uh, the internet has just taken over, just taken over first world life, you know, for better or worse. And uh, it's it's interesting. It's been interesting to 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 grow up with it, kind of, and to just see how it's evolved, I guess. Um, and it can be good. It can be really good social media can. It can bring people together. It can it can connect you with your friends whenever you need to reach out to them, you know, and that's nice. That's a nice way to 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 think about it. It can also be very bad. You just said Twitter's very manipulative. It can be. But it depends what you pay attention to, right? It depends what you give your attention to and what you what you spend your time focusing on. Like Twitter, any anything, Facebook even. Don't go on Facebook. Facebook's just gross. Um, 
but yeah, it can definitely, people are very opinionated, like in general, and a lot of people like to share their opinions on social media, and then other people might have feel a need to fight with them on that, and then it turns into a big thing. Uh, I personally don't, unless it's something really, really serious or something, like I, I, I don't get political, I don't get political on social media because it doesn't matter. I'm not going to change anybody's mind with what I think right? Like all you can do in life is just find people who think the same way you do and connect with them. Because if you spend your life, if you spend your life trying to change the minds of people who don't agree with you or see the world in a way that upsets you, like you're going to be upset all the time. And that's not healthy. That's not healthy. It's more healthy to, to, to surround yourself with positive energy and energy that you feel comfortable with um does that mean it puts you in like a bubble almost of like just thinking that you're right sure but what are you gonna do life's not that easy where you can just that's one thing i've always thought or wish sometimes in my head like i wish i could look at things neutrally right i've always wished that i could just look at something and just get get both emotional sides of it out of the way and just look at a problem or a situation for what it is and just but I've never been able to do that. I'm a very emotional person in the first place, so that's hard to that's hard to push aside when problems arise and stuff. But social media can be good if you use it correctly. And what I mean by use it correctly is just <clears throat> I don't even know what I mean by that. <laughs> just don't just don't pick fights with people. Don't try to get a rise out of people. Don't try to try to not try to not focus on things that are going to upset you just use it to use it to accentuate your life in a positive way uh as much as you can um i guess that's it i guess that's it social media can be good it can be bad if it's used wrong but it's okay it's okay it is what it is it's not going anywhere so the best thing you can do is uh the best thing you can do is to just live with it in the most positive manner that you can, I guess. I feel like that was a bad answer. Kybri13 says, Opinions of all the YouTubers getting cancelled recently, and opinions on cancel culture entirely. Okay. <laughs> Alright, these questions are getting deeper every week. I love it. Uh... Opinions of all the YouTubers getting canceled. I've heard about I heard about Shane Dawson and what he said, and that's pretty that's pretty yikes. Jesus, man. Uh, <laughs> I've heard about I've heard about Jenna Marbles and why she quit. Uh, I think she was being too hard on herself because I don't know. Like you can I've I've made horrible jokes in my life, and then later on you're like, oh, that's not good. You can't say that. <clears throat> like not even on the internet but like like growing up i was super into like like south park chappelle show mind of mencia i watched a lot of comedy central basically and a lot of those shows tackle really like really like deep problems with people in general like racism and 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 stuff like that and so and so darker jokes like that I, I grew up kind of kind of laughing at those, not really knowing like what they meant or the context behind them. It's just like, ha, ha funny, guys funny. Uh and stand up comedians as well. Growing up I would watch them and they'd always tackle race in, in some way or another and and uh you know, you, you learn to and, and they make stereotypes about people and uh Asians can't drive, that's so funny. And uh, and it's just it's weird. It's weird. I'm glad that the world is getting more um, I don't know if sensitive is the right word, because that can be thought negatively too, like, uh, everyone's so sensitive. But I'm glad we're becoming more conscious. More conscious of uh everyone's feelings and how growing up you'd always hear, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never harm me. That's that's a poison thing to say, because words hurt like crazy, man. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. That just that just teaches you to bottle stuff up, and that's not healthy. Uh, but 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any. I don't have any authority to like say who should get canceled and who shouldn't get canceled. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting concept. Um, obviously, if people are terrible, they shouldn't have a platform or a voice to to share such horrible things to say. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 a it's a big it's a big uh, subject to tackle. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, that's such a big thing to to tackle, man. <clears throat> you know, opinions of all the YouTubers getting canceled recently, and opinions on cancel culture entirely. It's it's a product of the time that we're living in right now. People are becoming more conscious of how to treat others, and that's good. And that's good. Um, it'll 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 even out. It'll even out. That's the thing about when a new thing arises, like oh, it's really a big deal, and then things even out, and life is normal again. So maybe in the future, cancel culture will be less prevalent like it is now. Um, it's good that people are are stepping up and apologizing for what they might have said or done in their past, because that means that they're becoming better people. You know, all you can do when you wake up every day is uh, try to be a better version of yourself than you were yesterday. I'm sure you've heard that a lot. I hear that a lot from people, uh, like on YouTube or in life or whatever. Uh, and I think if you're actively trying to be a better person and you do feel bad for any joke or any horrible thing you might have said in the past and it shows that you're if you can tell that you're trying to be better like i don't think it's fair to 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 cancel you for the rest of your life you know what i mean whatever cancel means take away your youtube channel or whatever career um i don't know i don't know we should give people a chance to be better unless they don't want to be <laughs> and then, you know, see ya. But I don't know. I guess those are my thoughts on it. I try not to think about it too much. I probably should though. I should be informed about things. Uh, Andrew said, what's your favorite part about streaming? How about the worst part? Was there anything in particular that was hard to accept when you first started streaming? Uh, okay. My favorite part about streaming. Let me make sure I'm recording. Cause yes, I am good. 27 minutes in. My favorite part about streaming is the fact that like growing up growing up playing Guitar Hero and Rock Band and all these games was such a such a solo activity for me because I I had a couple friends here and there who were kind of into it but like no one was ever like as gung-ho interested in it as I was. Right, so I always felt really alone uh, that that was my favorite thing because in school, you know, everyone likes video games, right? They're they're insanely fun and addicting, and everyone plays video games. Social media is a video game if you want to go back to that. You know, you're you're trying to see how many likes you can get, and that's like points. It's like a, social media is a video game, uh, and look how popular that is. Uh, but anyway, where was I? Favorite part about streaming is that I can. I can connect with people and I can bring other people together uh, through this thing that I've liked my whole life. I finally have a circle of people in my life that I can bond with over these games. Uh, and it's incredible that the internet can allow me to do that. Like growing up, I would hang out on like score hero and stuff and watch uh, other people FC their songs. And I would, I would always think like deep down, like, God, I wish I could be like friends with them or I wish I knew them. Right. Uh, and now with streaming, I can uh, I can uh, connect with people a little better on that end, and uh, it's also helped me uh, have an outlet for me to be myself and for me to feel like I'm not such a loner and that I do uh, mean something to people and that I'm leaving a mark on the world in a way that is meaningful to me. Um, yeah, I just like I like that. I like that. Uh, it's it's an incredible thing, this streaming thing. It really is. I love it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's awesome for all those reasons. Uh, how about the worst part? 
Uh, the worst part of streaming is <laughs> going back to the people is like when crappy people come into the chat or if I have a bad day, like yesterday was a bad day. Yesterday was a bad day. Uh, and then that led into me being upset at a stupid SpongeBob video game. <laughs> and I felt bad that that was the energy I put out yesterday. Uh, but you're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a bad day in this life. You can't be too upset about it. You can't beat yourself up over that too much. Uh, and the worst part is is the is the crappy people that come in. Uh, but the nice thing about having a, a nice community is that you quickly forget about it. You don't you don't uh, you don't dwell on crappy people that you have to ban too much and stuff like that uh, because you just kind of move on. You just kind of slash ban whatever the name is and and, and move forward with your life. Um, what else would be a bad part of streaming? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's mostly good. It's mostly good. Of course, there's bad things about it. Um, because everything in life has pros and cons, but I think for me, it's like pretty good. It's pretty good overall. I like it a lot. Hey, Yakuza Zero's done downloading. I'll have to, I'll have to try that out today. Um, worst part of streaming Probably the the crappy people, the trolls and whatnot, people who come in and just make you feel like you're like you suck at what you do, basically, I guess. Or people that just like you can tell. I don't know if they just bring a weird bad energy to the stream. I don't like that. Uh, but for the most part, I love uh, performing for you guys. I love I love uh, sharing these experiences with you, and I love I just love being here for you you know what i mean like it's cool to see the discord server like people talking and, and seeing like friendships form like outside of me if that makes sense like i see people like talking and and, and bonding and it's like i brought these people together man that's amazing i'm glad that uh, i'm glad that this thing that i do uh does that for people that's really nice it's really nice uh yeah, i'm having a tough time thinking of the worst part i guess the trolls are the worst part but even then you can just kind of ban them and move on was there anything in particular that was hard to accept when you first started streaming i don't know if there was anything hard to accept necessarily I don't, i'm not sure what that question means hard to accept um yeah i don't know what would be hard to accept about streaming you know that's 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 an interesting that's an interesting question um i don't know I don't know. It's just been a learning experience this whole time and a positive one, a positive one too. Um, it's definitely brought meaning to my life and hopefully to yours. Um, I don't know if anything's been hard to accept. I guess the hardest thing to accept is, uh, the hardest thing to accept, the hardest thing for me to, to have had to learn to do and to evolve with over time is to enforce rules with people and, and to have, my own set of standards and to have like to like know when to put my foot down if someone in chat's being weird you know like i'm such a pushover in real life i really am i have zero backbone i'm sure you can tell that just by watching me over time uh, but like like sometimes people will come in and like demand you do this or demand this like i gave you money you have to do this Nyeh. I gave you 10 bits, play the song for me, you know, stupid stuff like that. And it's like, or they'll have, or they'll want me to do something I really don't want to do. And in the old days, I would do that. Like I used to, I remember, <laughs> I remember uh, Julian asked me to play Light My Fire by the Doors at 25% speed. It took me a half hour to play. I'm like, all right. Like I used to be scared that if I just didn't do whatever the chat wanted me to do, that they wouldn't stick around and my channel wouldn't grow. Uh, but I feel like my channel's grown more since I've, like, been less afraid to be myself and know when to say no to people and stuff like that. I guess that would be the hardest thing I had to accept. Thank you for making me think about that. Um, <clears throat> thank you for making me think about that. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess just knowing when to say no to people on about stupid stuff and, and when to just kick people out who are being rude and yeah, 
most people on Twitch are not rude though. That's why I love it so much is that it's, it's such a community full of awesome people who just want to bond over video games and support each other. And it's great. It's really, really great. I'm glad it exists. I'm glad it exists. Uh, Andrew has another question. It says, it's been a long time since a new emote was added to your channel for subs. I know this community has been making emotes for BTTV, like Derp for Spoon, Derp for Cheesecake, Derp for Yikes, Derp for Pog, etc., which I love, by the way. Thank you. Uh, are there any plans to make some new emotes soon, whether community members make them or yourself? Uh, I'm just having fun with adding more emotes to BTTV uh, because I have a lot of slots open for that yet. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I have like, I don't even know how many I have. Let me see. Like how many I have left, you know what I mean? To fill up. Let me take a gander. Let me take a gander. Uh, so I have 70 emote slots available, and I've used 28 of them. So if I ever become partner, if that's ever, if the stars ever align to that lucky level of amazingness, uh, I'll probably move all these BTTV emotes to Twitch emotes so that i have slots to fill up because i don't know how many you have as a partner like in like to start with i can look that up too i guess how many emote slots do twitch partners i can't type partners get <clears throat> let me see here well oh, that's for affiliates hold on hold on hold on Uh, let's see. Affiliate partner. Partners were granted two tier one emotes when they achieve partner status. Today we are increasing that number from two to six. That means partners with zero to 64 sub points will automatically. When's this from? This seems, this is from February of 19. This might not be true anymore. But I know that it depends how many subs you have as a partner. Uh, you'll get a lot more emotes slots than if you're an affiliate. So, if I ever am lucky enough to be Twitch partner, um, I'm going to move as many BTTV emotes over to Twitch as I can. Uh, but right now, all my emote slots are used up on Twitch, and I don't want to like get rid of any. You know what I mean? Because I don't know what people like. Because maybe people really, really like the Powerful Derp, or the, the Mailer Yaler, or the FC, or the Oof, or the... What's the other one? What's the other one? Powerful FC, Oof, Mailer Yeller... There's one more. I don't know my own emotes. What the heck are my emotes? Aren't there five of them? I should have five. Powerful oof, Miller Yeller, FC. Hold on a second. Hold on, Ziggy. Hold on, Ziggy. Hold on, Ziggy. Wait, um... Content? No. Preferences? Affiliate. There it is. And then emotes. I only have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Gamer Lips is the last one. Gamer Lips. I'm an idiot. All right. So, yeah, those are the five. And then I have, for tier two, I have the Taco and a Corn Tortilla. And then tier three is Evil Derp. I don't know if anyone wants that. <laughs> but I. BTTV is the best place to add more emotes because I have slots to use, right? So if I'm ever a partner, you know, we'll we'll start focusing on adding Twitch emotes itself. But you know, we're we're a long way off from that from partnership. Uh, if that were to ever happen, though, sweet. Um, and thank you guys for making uh emotes for me too. I know Payman has made one, or he made the spoon one and a derp for dab one. In addition to, he made a Spin one for Spin Rhythm emotes. Uh, Music Nerd made the cheesecake, kind of. I cut out the cheesecake picture, but he put my face in it. Uh, and stuff like that. So thank you guys already for, for helping me make some, some silly little pictures to put in the chat. Uh, Wangs for thank you. <laughs> I said that one time, and now that's his name. Wings of a Meme says, Ever thought of having guests on the Derpcast? Uh, maybe in the future, that'd be fun to, cause I know, I know Wings, I know you have wanted me to, you wanted me to like have you on as a guest or maybe a co-host or something. That'd be fun. That'd be fun to do, uh, to have like a, like a discussion about stuff, have some pre, 
some pre uh thought of topics to go over and stuff like that. I'd enjoy that. I'd like that. Uh, Andrew says, favorite moment on stream. If you can't narrow it down to one, give me a couple of your favorite moments with your viewers. Uh, favorite moment on stream. I mean, I, it would be, it would be horrible if I didn't mention Biosphere's rendition of About a Girl. Like, <laughs> I never laughed so hard in my life, man. Like, there's a reason that's our number one viewed clip on the stream. That whole that whole twelve hour stream was so fun. Like those twelve hours flew by. Like I remember early on that day, I had like a nervous stomach ache. Like this is gonna take forever. I'm not gonna have the energy the entire time. People aren't gonna want to watch. But it turned out great. I don't know why I get so nervous. I love all of you people, and it always turns out great, whether it's a good day or a bad day. Um, but Biosphere singing about a girl was amazing. <laughs> Like, we're never going to not reference that. You know what I mean? Like, that's always, <laughs> that's just part of our, that's just part of our lore now, so to speak. Um, trying to think of other fun moments. There's been moments where I've gotten, I remember when I FC Jordan on stream, that was pretty hype. That was insane. Um, there was one, I remember one night last fall on the stream, I got raided by like all four, was it all four? No, it was... It was three of the four big streamers, big Clone Hero streamers. I got raided by Jason Paradise for the first time ever, which was insane. I remember I was really nervous and could barely speak. So I'm like, oh my God, because Jason's the reason I became a streamer. So I was like almost starstruck in a way, but I got through it. I got raided by Jason, Asai, and Randy within like a half hour. Like my brain just was fried with shock. Uh, I remember that happening. Um remember the first time Jason was ever in my stream it was back in 2017, right when I started streaming, because it was uh, it was BC Richard who raided me. And Jason, I guess, was in his stream at the time, too. And uh, he followed. I remember I screenshotted the email that I got where it said, Jason Paradise is now following you on Twitch. Uh, I thought it was really, really cool. Um, Whenever we do a special stream, like I said, the 12 hour stream, the subathon last year was really fun. Um. Because we did special things like DJ Hero and GTA and just silly stuff like that. Um, pretty much, pretty much, if you guys can watch the clip compilations, right? Because those are always the highlights of each month, you know? So every month has its own little, whether it's a little inside joke or a little just funny recurring thing that happened or just some kind of thing. Like within a month, something something new always always comes up, so... Uh, it's, it's, it's this evolving fun time, these streams, uh, but Biosphere singing about a girl is probably my favorite moment. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, Andrew asks once again, hold on. Favorite restaurant to eat at? What would be your favorite food to have at that particular restaurant? There's a restaurant that I haven't been to in a bit because of COVID. I'm scared to eat anywhere. Uh, but it's called Hoo Hot Mongolian Grill, and uh, it's amazing because it's Asian. It's like Chinese food, Asian food, Mongolian food, which I really enjoy to begin with. Uh, but if you have if you've never been there, the way it works is that you go up. It's like a buffet. You go up, you grab your bowl, you put noodles, meat, vegetables, sauce, whatever you want, and then you go up to the to the dudes cooking there's like this big circular grill uh that they just dump your uh frozen food on and then they cook it within like five minutes it's crazy <clears throat> and it's really good it's really good it's a really good place to eat uh if you have you guys have never been to hoo i'm sure there's other restaurants that are similar to that right it's cool though to, to like make to make your bowl and then you watch them cook it it's really cool it's a really fun time uh and they have amazing they just have amazing food in general, honestly. Sometimes we get s'mores for dessert. Delicious. Uh, so yeah, who hot would be really good. I like Chinese food in general. Um, I don't eat at restaurants that much, I guess, besides that. <clears throat> yeah, got to give it to who hot. Uh, the Peebus says, ever thought about doing a non-gaming stream? I keep wanting to film commercials for the channel. But I, my, my brain keeps getting in the way of it and being like, no, nah, it's going to suck. You can't film commercials. What are you doing? <laughs> so I'd like to do that at some point. I don't know what else I would do.
do to stream you know what i mean like do you guys have any suggestions <laughs> like i see i see other people do like cooking streams and stuff but i can't cook i don't know what i'm doing do you guys want to watch me struggle to learn how to cook <laughs> start my house on fire uh i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm open to ideas definitely open to ideas i just know how to play video games and stream them so i guess that's what i what i uh what i stick to uh but yeah i'm 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 up for other ideas i'm up for other ideas uh i'd like to i haven't unboxed these yet cuz uh the dude hasn't gotten back to me with the, my promotional code i don't know if he will uh i can unbox these on the stream and we can we can check them out i guess we'll see though We'll see. That'd be fun to, to play around with. Um, but I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really know. If you guys have suggestions for non-gaming streams, you can hit me up. I'll see what I can do. You could do a just chatting stream, right? That's the thing streamers do. They just sit there and talk with their community. Do that at least sometime, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Big Blue says, How did you react when you heard the news of Charlie Daniels' death? I didn't know he was still alive, first of all. Uh, he was 83 years old, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, I told my mom the news, and she said, yeah, Grandma loved him. Uh, so, yeah. I only know him. I wouldn't know who he is if it wasn't for Devil Went Down to Georgia, but he's he's very uh, he's a very influential uh, artist, very influential musician. Uh, I don't, as far as I know, a good guy. I've never heard anything bad about him. Uh, not that I've like done any research or anything, but yeah, that's too bad. It's too bad. It's always sad when someone's life is over, man. It sucks. It sucks. Rest in peace, Charlie Daniels. Uh, Shimoni13 says, if you could be any one Pokemon for a day, who would you be? Let me look at my, uh, let me look at my Pokemon Go, uh, roster just so I can know what I know what I'm saying. I deleted Pokemon Go. I'll just be Pikachu. I don't care. No, I'll be butterfree. Free. Search tanking in 2005 says, what do you think of Bob Ross? Bob Ross is an inspiration. <laughs> He's the most chill, nice dude that this world has ever known. Honestly. He's a, he's a good guy. He was a good guy. May he rest in peace. It, it was, uh, we recently, was it recently where we hit the 25th anniversary of when he died? I think that's the I think that's where we're at now. He died in nineteen ninety five. Let me see. Bob Ross Death Day. No network connection. That can't be true. Oh, I should turn Wi Fi on. <laughs> that would be helpful. That would be very helpful. How come my phone's giving me these I'm not a robot tests? You guys ever have to deal with that? It's annoying to click on all these crosswalks. Yeah, he died on the 4th of July in 1995, so yeah, it just became 25 years. Uh, yeah, he seemed like a really, really chill, nice dude. Um, seemed like a great guy. Wish I could have, wish I could have known him. He died before I was even a year old. <laughs> so, yeah, that's too bad. Uh, yeah, who doesn't love Bob Ross, man? Bob Ross is so relaxing, such a nice dude. So, I approve of his mark on the world and who he is and was and all that. Um, so that's that does it for Discord questions. Boys and girls, if you would like to ask me a question for a future podcast, you can join the Discord server, which I will link in the description. Uh, there's a channel called Podcast Questions. You can click over there and, and ask me whatever you want. Whatever the heck you want, buddy. So yeah, it looks like that is going to be the podcast for the week. I want to thank you all for listening. Uh, let me do the outro. Let me do it. Boys and girls, there comes a time during every single podcast where we need to say goodbye to each other. And sadly, this is one of those times. I want to thank each and every one of you for listening and, uh, and just being here and being part of this community. You guys are awesome. Uh, this will be up tomorrow, July 8th. So watch out for that if you're interested. Um, yeah. If you guys want to hang out outside of the streams and YouTube videos, you can join the Discord, like I just said. You can uh, ask me questions for this podcast. You can leave music for us to listen to and talk about. You can leave me Clone Hero charts to download. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff, man. You can just talk about music, video games, whatever you're in the mood for. Whatever you're in the mood for. 
Uh, you can sub to the YouTube if this is your first time here. You can, uh, what else can you do? You can follow me on Twitter. You can uh, like the Facebook page if you want. Um, yeah, I suppose that's it. I suppose that's it for now. Uh, today's stream, I'm probably going to stream some Clone Hero. Like I said, I'm going to stream Clone Hero, Guitar Drums, and then Rocksmith, and then Rock Band 4 for the rest of the week. Uh, well, Friday, I'm going to be not streaming because I have videos to, to make and catch up on and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see when we get to that Yakuza Zero. We'll see when we get to it. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching. I love you all a freaking bunch. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. I mean that now more than ever, man. I mean it. I mean it. I hope that because I say that all the time, it doesn't lose its meaning. But it's true. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Um, Yeah, I love you all a freaking bunch, and I hope we can see each other again soon. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh. Oh, okay. When I'm this close, I just naturally cut off on the sides. All right. Have a good day. Where's my mouse? Okay. Have a good day.